Hi, I'm Jill Foster here with Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft, sharing tips and techniques for mixing and matching lots of different mediums today to create an 8x10 canvas. And I will also be using today the new Texture Lux in the color of Pearl to blend my background with gelatos. And there you can see a little bit of that shimmer in that photo. It's really pretty in real life. So to begin, I'm working on an 8x10 deep edge canvas and I wanted to leave a white border around the edges. So I'm just using some painter's tape to block off or mask off that border. You can see I have my butterflies already laid out there just for spacing so I knew where to place that border. The painter's tape doesn't stick perfectly to the canvas but it definitely stuck enough to work and achieve the effect that I was going for. And those butterflies were are, they are die cuts from Penny Black. Um, the die cut's called Flights of Fancy, and it's a nice large size die cut, great for mixed media and combining with all the different mediums in the Design Memory Craft line. So now that that's taped, I want to prepare my surface. I want to be sure that it's completely non-porous, just because that, for me, is the best surface to blend gelatos on. So I'm using gesso, and I'm just painting that entire background with gesso before beginning. Once that was dry, I grabbed my gelatos and I am coloring directly onto the canvas with the gelatos. Um, the first color I'm using is raspberry. And then I am now coloring with lavender. And all of these exact colors will be listed at the end of the video. This is banana. I'm adding some blood orange up here at the top. And then I'm also mixing in some tangerine with that blood orange. I really like the way those two colors combine. And for a little bit of a turquoise look, I'm using the snow cone gelato, mainly over here on the right hand side of the canvas. And once I've got the initial placement of the colors, I'm just going back and adding some, some more and filling in the white so that I have enough there in order to blend the background. So now I'm taking the Texture Lux in the color of Pearl. There's so much you can do with this awesome texture paste, but I'm going to use it today to blend my background. So now I've got that all opened up. You can see it's this great, thick, shimmering paste. I'm putting mine just onto a craft mat, and I'm going to spray that down with water, and then mix that water in with a paintbrush, and I'm going to use this directly onto my canvas to blend the gelatos. So you get that great pearlescent shine mixed with the vibrancy of the gelatos. So if you wanted to tone down the background and have it more pearl, you would just add less water to this before you blend it. And you can see I just keep dipping my paintbrush into the pearl and then applying that to the background. And I really, again, wish you could see this in real life. It has an awesome shimmer when you blend it with the gelatos. I did clean off the brush somewhat between the colors, not always because some of the blending I wanted it to do, um, but I was a little bit more careful moving from the yellow to the blue as I didn't want this to have end up with a bright green when those two colors mixed. And again, I'm just wiping that off with a baby wipe. If you wanted to be a little bit more careful than I, you could um, rinse off your brush before moving into the other color. And then to finish off the blending over here on this side, I'm just spraying the canvas with water and I'll go in with my fingers to blend. Sometimes I just feel like I have a little bit more control with my fingers and by using water, it allowed me to lighten up that color a little bit as well. And here's just a look once that's dried at some of that awesome shimmer from the Texture Lux Pearl. This is a penny black stamp called Brick Wall, and I'm just using it mainly to add some texture to the background. And I'm coloring onto the back of that using a Stamper's Big Brush Pen in the color of Nougat. And I'm just stamping that right onto the background, just towards the center. And my butterflies will kind of sit upon this center line that I'm creating with the stamping. 
Now once this dries, because the markers are India ink, it'll be permanent, so when I add other layers on top of this, it's not going to blend or bleed. So you can see you can really mix and match the different mediums from the line when you're creating your mixed media. Now here's that butterfly die cut that we saw earlier in the video, and I'm coloring these in using the Art Grip Aquarelle watercolor pencils. And I'm applying the color mainly towards the center of the butterfly because I want, when I add my water to blend, to be, for it to be darker towards the body and then lighter towards the edge of the wings. I used a pink and then I'm adding some yellow so that will have a little bit of a peach look once I blend the water on top of it. And I've listed all the colors again at the end of the video in the supply list. And I'll repeat this process for the other two butterflies, just changing the colors. Now moving back to the canvas, I wanted to accentuate that border just a little bit and give it more of a finished look. So I'm using a Pitt Pastel pencil. I'm just coloring directly onto the canvas along the border and then blending it a little bit with my finger. It's pretty subtle, but I did feel like it finished things off a little bit more. Now to add some more texture to the canvas and also tie in the white border with the center portion of this canvas that's colored in, I have a penny black stencil along with the whipped spackle, and I'm applying a very light layer randomly through that stencil onto the background. And I decided here just to add it in a couple more spots. And once I was finished, I was sure to clean off that stencil right away with a baby wipe. Now I adhered my butterflies using just some liquid adhesive only on the center portion of the body so the wings could still be dimensional. And I'm adding some splatters. I colored with a black Stampers Big Brush pen onto an acrylic block, added some water with my brush, and I'm just splattering the background. To finish the canvas, I just stamped a sentiment onto a circle and mounted it to the center butterfly using dimensional adhesive. And here's another look at all the textures and mixing and matching with the different products, including the new Texture Lux Pearl on the background. Thank you so much for watching today's video. For more ideas and inspiration, be sure to visit the Design Memory Craft blog. And at the end of this video, here is the list of supplies.